Hey howdy hey partners, today I want to show off my entire Lightyear collection so far. Let's get into it. I am Socks, your personal companion robot, and I regret having joined you. You're watching Today I Grew Up, Lightyear Edition. Enjoy the review. Excited to be back with you partners again. Really crazy to look at all the toys together. I've been collecting these Lightyear toys for a while since the movie came out, and even before it came out. And so it's cool to see all of them together. So I kind of wanted to talk about what I have in my collection generally. And if you've missed all my video reviews, click the card here in the corner of your screen. It'll take you to all the video reviews and playlists for these toys. But I'm just really excited that I've gotten so many. And it's kind of cool to see what direction I'd like to go in when I continue to collect Lightyear. I'm not a completist at all. I just like to collect things that I like or I think are the best. So those are the things I like to review. And so it's just really fun also to just see what Mattel has done. And most of these are Mattel products with the exception of a couple of the Disney exclusives back there. But it's really cool to see all the toys that Mattel's given us and they continue to deliver more. Back here we have the Epic XL15 ship. Really cool, it's the one that comes with the little five inch buzz that pops out his wings, it's very awesome. Here we have the armadillo ship with the opening doors. I really like this ship. It really goes well with the five inch figures. And then up here we have the Zerg fighter ship, which is part of the hyperspeed series. Down here I have another mini XL15 ship, hyperspeed series, and XL01 ship. So it's kind of cool to have those ships in the collection. I really like the armadillo ship because that's what we saw the recruits flying in the movie most. And then XL15 ship was the one that was featured the most as well. So those are my favorites besides the XL01. Super cool. Over here I have my exclusive Cinemex popcorn bucket, which is pretty cool, exclusive to Mexico. Here we have the Disney Parks exclusive to Disneyland, and it's really cool. I just reviewed this yesterday actually. It's a laser arm drink cup holder. And over here I have my Zergs. So these are the ones that everybody wants to see because they want to see the scale of things and here this is the biggest Zerg that we've gotten from Mattel. He's 14 inches. He's just a regular action figure but he's huge and massive. Even compared to the Blaster Zerg here, the Blaster Attack Zerg, he is a little bit tad shorter which is interesting but he does have an actual firing laser cannon and he talks which is super amazing. And then here we have the 10 inch Mattel Zerg. So you can see he also has a blaster. He does not talk or light up his eyes or anything like this one does, but it's cool to see in scale what they look like together. These are the best Zerg Mattel action figure options right now that I've seen on the market. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What's your favorite Zerg in your collection? Back here we have the Buzz Light Ears, the Ranger Alpha suits that I've collected so far. These are all really impressive and awesome in their own way. Over here, my favorite one is going to be this one. This is a jetpack liftoff Buzz Lightyear. He talks and he has that awesome mist coming from the jetpack. So the exhaust comes out. It's water vapor basically, but it's so cool. And it's such a cool, awesome. The only thing I wish we could ha open the helmet. I heard that Takara Tomy from Japan has that feature. So I will try to get that next on this channel as I think that might be my favorite Buzz. But for now, this one is. Next favorite would be this Ranger Alpha Suit Buzz, which just came out. It's just a regular posable action figure. Nothing too special about him. His helmet does come off, so I do appreciate that. You know, we didn't get that with Jetpack Liftoff. So that is a feature I do like about this Buzz. And it's cool that it comes with the accessory, like the gun accessory. And it's just a really awesome Buzz. So if you can't get the Jetpack one, this is about $50. There's only 20 bucks, and it's a really cool looking one. As you can see, they're very comparable. They're very similar in style. Next we have the Chris Evans talking one that has the light up blade, very cool. And then we have the normal uh, 12 inch Mattel action figure with the hair sculpt, which is pretty great. So these are my Ranger Alpha Suit buzzes in the 12 inch scale that I have. And I think they look really cool. And it's kind of see, interesting to see what options we have from Mattel so far for the 12 inch scale. Next for the 12 inch scale I collected would be this one. It's Alicia Hawthorne in the Ranger Alpha suit, which is a very rare figure. Nobody's been able to find this. I got lucky and found it at the Mattel store because there's one close to my house. So I'm able to find kind of things that they get in the warehouse. So I got lucky and got this one, but hopefully they'll release this one soon because it's a very, you know, main character of the movie. And I think it'd be really cool if you guys can get your hands on it. It's a really cool one. Next we have the XL15 suit buzz, 12 inch action figure from Mattel. 
Very nice suit. I love the details of this one. It's a very cool one. Next we have the XL01 Buzz Lightyear. Very cool. I really like the detail on the chest. I notice that some of them are missing the details on the chest that you see here. I don't know what that is about, but I got an early wave. Maybe that's what it is, but I really like that. And then this one's like the training suit Buzz. And you can accessorize this one, but I thought it just looked cool like this because I already have an XL15 Buzz. It's meant to be this one, but I like this one. The only thing I wish we got from Mattel officially would be the blue suit that we see in the trailer in the movie, but we do not have that yet because this one looks exactly like it except it's an orange jumpsuit because it's supposed to be the base jumpsuit for this XL15 one. But overall, I like my 12 inch scale. Uh, buzzes and Alicia Hawthorne as well. Next we have the Zyklops, which is pretty cool. As you can see, he's, he towers really tall. He's he's very big. I don't think he would scale with a 12 inch buzz. Uh, he would probably scale more with like the Alpha class. It's closer to like 14 inches, but this one's closer to eight inches. So that one's cool as well. I think this would scale really well too with the five inch line. So the five inch buzzes, cause he's pretty big too. But I think the Alpha class, which is right next door here, would be it wouldn't be big enough. It, you would have to scale that with a taller one here. So that's pretty interesting for Zyklops. This one's just a plain simple action figure. This one actually shoots a missile, which is awesome. So I really like my Zyklops though. I kind of want to army build these guys because I think it'd be pretty awesome to display with Zerg and Buzz. I'm not sure yet what I want to do, so I'll figure that out in the future. Back here I have my mini Zyklops and pods. So those are pretty awesome. I have four of them because I think the more the merrier for army building in the hyperspeed series scale. I think they're pretty cool and I like having a lot of these around. Here I have my five inch Mattel scale for the recruits, Mo Morrison, Izzy Hawthorne, and Darby Steele. I really like these figures. They go really well with the armadillo ship that I have. And I like that they have removable helmets and these are a great addition to the Lightyear collection. I just got this 5 inch scale Alicia Hawthorne which is pretty cool, came with the plant attack pack from Kohl's exclusive. Really funny to look at the scale of 12 inch Alicia Hawthorne and we have the 5 inch right next to each other so you can kind of see how it towers over uh, that figure which is pretty cool to have a giant form and a little mini 5 inch figure. I think that looks super cool and I love adding that to the collection. Next we have the Alpha class. These are supposed to be movie accurate details. We do have a light year on the chest finally for once in our lives from Mattel. <laughs> it's really cool to see that. He's got the iron blaster. I really like the details. They are awesome. Here we have the XL15 Alpha class, Buzz Lightyear, and we have Alicia Hawthorne in Alpha class. They came with a bunch of neat accessories like computers and little swords and little guns and awesome cool crystal packs and Ivan right there. So it just comes with a lot of accessories. This one came with socks as well. So it's cool. I like the Alpha class. I don't know if I'm going to keep collecting it because it's just I'm conflicted on what scale I want to settle on. I'm really liking the 12 inch and the 5 inch so far more than the 7 inch line. But I think it's still cool to see what's possible and what Mattel makes. And I do like the movie accurate inspired details. So. Time will tell and I'll see if I'll collect more of the Alpha class. Over here I have a bug and I have some vines, killer plants. Uh, they came with the uh, plant attack pack so it's kind of cool to have them. It's kind of important to have at least one of these guys and some vines in your collection to complete your light ear display. These hyperspeed figures are so small I had to put them in the front here. But we have Zerg, we have Zyklops and an XL15 mini buzz. These are really awesome and I do have about four of these Zyklops figures but I plan to get more. They're just fun to army build and they look great next to the Hyperspeed series ships. Now the five inch line for Buzz. We have the Crystal Great series exclusive to Walmart right here. We have the Glow in the Dark Buzz I found at Target. Here we have the Kohl's exclusive five inch Buzz, which is awesome. Really looks like the Crystal Great series, very similar. Here we have the Buzz that comes with the XL15 ship. So it's the one with the gimmick where the wing pops out when you pull the lever of the ship, it's pretty cool. Missing some paint details you can see on the legs there, but still pretty cool, it came with the ship. Here we have my mission equipped Buzz Lightyear with his punching action, one of my favorite ones. I really like this one a lot because he actually has the laser on his arm, which a lot of these other figures do not have. So that's something interesting to note. We have this awesome Buzz with a head sculpt with the hair, which I really appreciate. 
I really like this buzz a lot. He's really cool looking. And then here we have the XL01 buzz. I really like that style. And then we have the training Buzz Lightyear that came with a little socks figure where we're gonna look at next. As far as socks goes, I have the talking plush from Mattel. He talks and it's I love that he talks and he has movie quotes. He's very soft and fuzzy like the movie. I wish he had a real metal tag, he doesn't, but it's a really great plush, one of my favorites in the collection. Here's the one that I just uh, reviewed on the channel, which is the Ultimate Mission Socks Robot. It's very cool, it was 100 bucks, but yeah, I didn't mind it, I had to get it. It's cool that he talks like the movie. You can pull on his color to reset him into companion mode. He has all these little um, programmable chips that you can plug into him and he can come alive. So it's a really awesome socks figure. Down here I have the mini socks figures. I have the one that came with the five inch buzz and this is the alpha class socks figure. They're very small and very cool and I have the little carrier that came with the alpha class buzz. But I really like the small figures. I think they're really cool. And it's interesting to see how small they are compared to their giant counterparts here with the plush and the ultimate mission robotic socks. Here's a top view for fun of all the toys on my table here. You can see that it really took up all the room, uh, but it's really cool to see the details of each figure. I can see why Mattel made these and why they exist. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for why they had to make a lot of these different scales and try different things, but I do appreciate what Mattel's doing, and it's really, really hyping me up for Lightyear, which is coming out to Disney Plus August 3rd, so you don't want to miss out and stream it so you can watch it over and over again, which I am really excited for. Some other things I have in my collection is this Lightyear pin I got at Disneyland, which has socks and buzz, and it says Star Command. I really love this pin. I just got this Zerg pin in a mystery pin pack, which was really awesome. I also got this XL01 pilot pin in the mystery pin pack, which was really cool too. I also have to show off that I framed my Lightyear poster that I got when I saw the Lightyear movie in the theater. They had the Andy experience and we got these posters. So I went to Michael's and found a really nice wood and white frame. I thought it looked good in there and it's awesome to have this. I'm going to be putting it up on my studio wall here so that you partners can see it in future videos. But I just, it's too epic to not frame and I think it looks amazing for the Lightyear collection. I also have this really limited edition poster. You're probably asking, today I grew up, how'd you get that? Only one person can win it in the theater and you didn't win it. You're right, I didn't win this. So a good friend of mine that I found in the Toy Story Collection Facebook group, he actually had a scan of this because he worked for a movie theater. He got a picture of it and then he uploaded it, a high quality file of it. And then I was able to go to a print shop and print it out myself and frame it. So now I'm able to have a limited edition poster that not many people have because I got a custom job. I basically got a file, got a high quality print and I printed it myself and now I can put it up on my studio wall because this is a poster I really wanted that was really hard to get. Only one person in the whole theater could have a chance at winning this. So this was my solution because I knew I wasn't lucky enough to win. Uh, now I have this awesome poster thanks to my friend from the Facebook group of Toy Story Collection. So it's cool. You got Andy with Woody and Buzz in his hands there and he's meeting Lightyear. It's a cool concept art with socks there on his shoulder. It's pretty epic and I think it's a really amazing poster. Huge shout out to my friend Cayman. Go follow him on Instagram. Because of him I got this poster from I guess it was an IMAX screening of it and it said see it in Real 3D, which is cool. And you've got Lightyear on the bottom here, only in theaters, June 17th, Disney Pixar. you got Buzz there shooting his blaster against Zerg. And this awesome, awesome picture of Zerg with his red eyes. I love this poster. I'm just geeking out on this. This is so cool. And I'm be putting it up on my studio wall as well because it's a really epic poster. So thank you, Cayman, so much for supporting us fans out here and helping a partner out. So I really appreciate you and I am so excited for this poster for the collection. Well, there you have it. A look at my Lightyear collection so far and what I've collected for the channel to review. I'm really happy with this collection. I think it's pretty cool to find all these like collectibles, exclusives, posters, ships, figures. It's just so fun, especially with socks. I can't wait to collect more. There's always more to collect. My next thing is to find uh, Takari Tomy Buzz, review that, maybe get some more Alpha Class in here. 
But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are you going to collect for the Lightyear movie? What have you collected so far? And what are you hoping to collect in the future? I'm definitely looking to collect the Hot Toys buzz that's coming out next year. That one looks really impressive and amazing. But I'm just loving everything so far because this movie is really great. And I love Buzz Lightyear as a character. So as long as it's connected to Buzz and Zerg, count me in. I think it's awesome. Thank you partners for watching and liking and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you want to continue to help me support me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real buzz like you? You're, a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. Are a child's plaything! Hey, Ham! Look! I'm Picasso! I don't get it.